My name is Tyler Davis. I'm a DevOps engineer for Porch.com. Uh, I'm something of a computer hobbyist turned professional, and I've held uh, IT sysadmin and DevOps jobs for about, about the last 10 years. Um, Skip right through that. Uh, if you've never heard of Porch, uh, Porch.com is the leading home services network, and when you need something done in your home, you go to Porch to get it done. And what makes Google Compute Platform so great for Porch? We adopted two things. One was going to Kubernetes, and that allows us to have two DevOps engineers manage the workload from 80 software developers across uh, nearly 100 services, and we're adding more each day. It also means that we have no more late night pager alerts. We don't have to worry about getting the website back up. Kubernetes just restores everything and restores the pods automatically. Also, Kubernetes runs anywhere we want. There's no vendor lock-in. There's no requirement that we run with a specific provider. Any cloud platform or even our own co-load hardware can run Kubernetes. Secondly, moving to Google Cloud Platform took away a lot of the complexity that we had. Uh, made things very simple for us. The Kubernetes infrastructure is managed by Google, which uh, means the upgrades and, and maintenance are pretty easy. And Google Container Registry holds all of our images and delivers them quickly to the nodes that we need. Google Cloud Monitoring can monitor our systems for anomalies and any strangeness within the nodes, uh, especially if a node is acting out relative to the rest of the cluster, we can identify it quickly. Everything basically just works when we run with Kubernetes in GCP. Before Kubernetes, scaling up at Porch required spinning up new VMs uh, or trying to co-opt an existing VM. It was expensive, it was slow, and it required a lot of time. Port reservations and manifests were purely the domain of DevOps. Uh, developers had to ask us for information, and it was pretty slow. Every release ended up having downtime, and the time to deploy a new service could take uh, an entire day, sometimes multiple days, to try and get a new service rolled out. And Above all that, the hosting bill for, well, hundreds of servers running at less than 10% load was pretty upsetting for both us and management. So what we did instead was we adopted Docker, which allowed the developers to manage their own systems, their own containers, and it accelerated their delivery and, and maintainability of their, of their systems. The encapsulation also made atoms of deployment for us, which allowed us to very easily reason about what those containers were going to do when we deployed them. We then went to Kubernetes to maintain and manage those Docker hosts. So developers through Kubernetes can manage the computing resources that their nodes would, or that their containers would use. And it allowed us in operations to scale down from many dozens of app servers to about eight instances per environment. So that was a pretty drastic consolidation and saving step. Finally, moving from AWS to GCP, that was, that was, the, that was the last push. Uh, we installed Kubernetes on EC2, and it was painful. Um, upgrades could take days, weeks, and uh, it was a fairly complex process where we had to build our own infrastructure. Since Google dog foods their products and they know how to automate and keep things hands off, upgrades and maintenance are painless with Kubernetes, specifically the GKE structure. And it doesn't hurt that GCP is noticeably, measurably faster for our implementation than the AWS version, and it's cheaper to boot. So currently, we have about 75% of our architecture moved to GCP. That last 25% got disrupted, mostly because of OSCON. Uh, we now have all of our new GKE clusters uh, in, in GCP, and that takes about minutes to spin up, as opposed to days or even hours. Uh, deploying new services similarly takes minutes. We can have someone go from nothing to deployed in one of our environments or all of our environments in a day. Since then, we've also had zero downtime for the apps in Kubernetes. Um, the developers would be concerned that the infrastructure wouldn't work uh, whenever they deploy their new code. And now we've shown that the infrastructure does work. So that's led developers and management to trust the infrastructure in a way they couldn't before. And overall, that allows us to, to give them the satisfaction of saying that we're not wasting resources and we can make sure that everything is up and running as needed every time. Thank you.